traditional flowers are not your style, I've got a really cute technique that you're going to want to try. I'm going to show you how to pipe a cactus using a tip 199, which is a larger star tip. This tip has a lot of ridges, which is perfect for making that cactus look. Then we're going to add some details using the tip 2 and the tip 18. I'm going to pipe this directly on my cake, but you can also do this on a flower nail if you want to make them in batches. I already have some bags prepared and I'm going to grab my tip 199 and the key to this technique is using really heavy pressure. We're going to squeeze hard so that we can get the base going and I'm going to be holding the bag straight up and down like I'm piping a star. I'm hovering over the surface just a little bit above my cake and I'm going to squeeze hard keeping my pressure really steady and I'm going to stop squeezing and pull away. Let's do a few more. You can play around with the length of these cactuses. They don't all have to be the same height. But whatever length you do, you just need to make sure that you're keeping steady pressure as you build up. If you decrease your pressure, you're going to get a very pointed look. I'm going to play around and add a few more sizes. Okay, so remember, I'm going to squeeze hard, keep my pressure steady, and I'm stop squeezing and I'm pulling away. I think I'm done with my cactus and now it's time to add some details. I have a tip two with white icing and we're going to use this to pipe the tiny little spines. We're just going to make little small dots all over the cactus and then I'm going to top each one with a little blossom using a tip 18. This doesn't have to be precise. You can do pull out dots or classic dots. They don't have to be uniform at all. And now I'm just going to top this off with a small star. I want to show you this adorable mini cake decorated with the cactus and also the cupcakes. You can add some extra details with graham cracker crumbs to get the look. I like the little blossoms and how they add just a pop of color, but you can definitely omit them if you want to. Once again, this can be made in advance in both buttercream and royal. Just keep in mind that this is really thick, so it will take a bit longer, maybe two to three days, for this to fully dry if you're piping it in royal icing. 